Hello everyone, this is Louis Brown, your clack advocate, coming to you from COVID quarantine. Yes, after two and a half years, it finally caught up to me. Uh, I've tested positive, but all is well. Feel fine just going through the rules to make sure that uh, we follow all the proper procedures. So coming to you um, from the quarantine headquarters, I just wanted to thank you for an end of session that was extraordinary. At the end of the session, we actually had two bills in which we were working on. AB 1410, as many of you will remember from the beginning of 2021, uh, that bill was finally amended uh, to delete the clause dealing with photographic evidence. Metadata is what the bill said. Uh, it was a very problematic uh, section of the bill, confusing, hard to implement. Uh, and after much talk, uh, much negotiation, Mr. Rodriguez was willing to delete the bill. So that bill started with nearly 10 different changes to the Davis-Sterling Act, ended up with just three, and the three are relatively simple um, and really provide uh, no real harm uh, to association. So thank all of you uh, for your perseverance in helping us uh, go through that. SB 1323 was the other bill that we were dealing with at the end of the session. This one came upon us late, but happy to report that bill was moved to the assembly inactive file. So it did not move. So at the end of the day, both problematic bills were dealt with. Now we move on to planning for next year. That's right. The 2022 annual planning meeting is right around the corner. Go to the CLAC website, uh, find information on how to register for that. Uh, send your ideas that you might have for our legislative agenda uh, to our committee so that we can review those and present those um, and get ready for what's going to be a very active uh, legislative session in 2023. So again, thank you for all you've done in 2022. Thought we had an extraordinary legislative session. Look forward to the annual planning meeting. Look forward to 2023. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.